What's up guys, Austin Numa here today coming at you with yet another Adobe Premiere CC 2017 tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about time lapses and one really easy effect that you can add to your next time lapse to make it look really cool. And it kind of speeds it up, gives it a little bit smoother of a look. I think it looks pretty cool. This is what your footage would look like if you didn't apply the effect. So as you can see it definitely adds some value. I'm going to show you how to do this. We're going to dive in right now. Let me go ahead and clear my timeline here. One thing I do want to mention is you want to make sure your sequence settings and your clip settings are the same as far as your frame rate goes. You either want to conform your time lapse clip or you'd want to conform your sequence to your time lapse footage. So we'll go to sequence, sequence settings, and time base. And I'm going to change it to 30 frames a second. So here we go. We're all set. Now what we want to do is we want to import our time lapse. In order to import our time lapse, we hit Command I to import. This is a sequence of photos that I took on a road trip. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this first photo here, go down to options and make sure image sequence is checked. Now this will also be on windows. You'll find either sequencing or something along those lines. Just make sure that box is checked, select your first photo and you should be ready to import. So now that we have this in our program, we're going to drag that onto our timeline. And the first thing I want to do is hit Command R to bring up our speed and duration. We're going to change this to a thousand percent. And then we're going to go down here to time interpolation and drop down to frame blending. Now what that's going to do is it's going to give us that effect. Now it's not going to really show up unless you render this out. And I'm going to go ahead and do that now for you. And now we're all rendered, and this is what we get. That's as simple as this effect is, so make sure to apply this to your next time lapse. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to this channel for more filmmaking tutorials and editing tutorials just like this one. Super quick, super easy as always. I've been Austin Newman. You can find my work on Instagram at Austin Makes Films. I love connecting with other filmmakers on there. I take questions and tutorial requests as well on Instagram. Until next time, guys, we'll see you later.